manure for your scalp. <laughs> See you that crash zoom. <laughs> hey, whatever it takes. I want this yeah. garden to grow. Okay. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Mike from Ladylike. You might know me from the behind the scenes of a lot of Ladylike videos. I'm the off-screen producer. This video is a little bit different because it's actually about something that I'm trying. I'm gonna get a hair transplant. So my journey with my hair has been a little bit of a roller coaster for the last 10 years or so. When I was a kid, I had long, thick hair. When I went to college, I started noticing that it wasn't as thick anymore. And I was like, oh no, it's happening to me. I'm 27 now. In my family, my dad has like perfect head of hair. My grandpa, on the other hand, on my mom's side, has not had hair for the entire time that I knew him. So some time went on. I found David Dang. He's been in a ton of BuzzFeed videos. David is very good at taking care of men who are experiencing hair loss. So David told me to start using minoxidil foam, which is also known as Rogaine. I've been doing that for two and a half years. I also started taking biotin pills, but it's been on my mind for years now. Quickly enough, my hair loss became my number one body insecurity. I didn't even seriously consider doing a hair transplant until Freddie's friend Kane made a video where he got a transplant. About six months ago, David told me about this new technology of hair transplants. There's this place called Barber Surgeon Guild. They use a robot to transplant your hair. I thought about it and I was like, maybe I should get a hair transplant. I also just wanna say that there's nothing wrong with hair loss or being bald. I think there's so many men out there who look beautiful with no hair or with receding hairlines. Bald men can be super hot. This is just kind of a choice for me personally. I'm nervous, I'm excited, but I'm really lucky that I have the ladylike girls to support me throughout this process because I don't think I could do it alone. Lovely ladies of ladylike, what are your thoughts on me getting this procedure? I think you're the most beautiful man to ever exist, inside and out. Truly just want you to be so happy and feel so confident in yourself. I am so here to support you. I love you so much. Ah, wow, thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm serious. I didn't know that this was like a big insecurity of yours. You walk around so confidently and like mm -hmm. you're so handsome and you're just like so tall and like you get so many men all the time. Ah. <laughs> I feel like people should have the freedom to do things they want with their bodies. It's about making people feel good no matter what choice Voices they feel like are best for them. My hope for this video is that anyone out there who's insecure about their hair or curious about hair transplants will learn a little bit more about what it's actually like from someone who's actually going through it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm kind of nervous. It's a procedure, so I think it's fair to be a little bit nervous and it's gonna take a, quite a few hours. It's like eight hours. Eight hours. So Chantel, how squeamish are you? Very. I'm just gonna try to look at it not as a bloody surgery that's happening, but rather as this image that I need to capture. That means a lot to me because I know that you have a delicate stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, Jen, I want your hair. Like, is that okay? I will give you hair from all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> How long lasting are the results from the surgery? In theory, they're forever. I'm gonna go to my consultation so I can talk to the people of Barber Surgeon Guild and find out if I'm a good candidate for this and how the whole process will work. Freddie's gonna help me out with that. Yeah. I'm excited. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> We're here at Barber Surgeon Guild. I'm about to have my consultation for my hair transplant surgery. Let's see how it goes. Hi, Greg. Brought David with me. David's been taking care of my hair for Two and a half years now. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that I was connecting you with the proper people for the next chapter in your hair journey. Yeah. And that's where Greg comes in. So the reason you're losing your hair, it is genetic. It's nothing that you're really doing. It's purely a hormone called DHT. DHT is essentially blocking the blood supply to your follicles. Let's do an analysis. Let's actually see how much miniaturization you have. And then we'll have Dr. Rome come in and he'll do his full evaluation. Wow. Wow. You could totally see the difference. Hi, Mike. Dr. Rome. Hi, Dr. Rome. So, yeah, as far as hair transplants go and what people know about them, it's interesting that we only really ever hear about the horror stories. I don't really notice someone and I'm like, oh, yeah, they had a hair transplant. Because they probably had a good hair transplant. That's it. You don't notice the good results out there. When we do restoration, we're limited by the number of what we call donor hairs, which is the hair that we take from the back of the head. And you can't move all these hairs because then you'll have no hair left back there. With the robot, we actually 
can get a very accurate live read and we can tell you know exactly what the count is and how many hairs we can safely take without you know over harvesting or potentially thinning an area. We combine this procedure actually with what we call regenerative medicine therapy so things like PRP platelet rich plasma I draw your blood isolate the growth factors inject that in after the transplant. We just consider this a very non-invasive kind of outpatient procedure. We always track you and follow up and make sure you're happy. You have to wait a year to get your final results. But what you have to start immediately is good maintenance so we stop losing the hairs that we're losing. Well, let's create a plan for you. Yes, all yeah, right, let's go. Good. So one thing to keep in mind when we design the hairline and temples is that we really don't plan just for now, but we plan for the future because these are permanent hairs. We'll add hairs that will track down just naturally like that. You know, probably keep the hairline a little bit high, just, just where it is so it's natural. Yeah. I didn't realize that men's hairlines were so angular. I mean, we don't make it like a sharp right yeah. angle, but it does have to have that you know, geometric yeah. shape. So we'll bring this temple up to about here and then bring this down here. It's mm -hmm. all about the right. journey and trusting the process. So I'm really excited Absolutely. about that. Well, thank you so much, all Dr. Right. Mo. I'll see you next see week. You on Monday for Looking the forward to it. big day. Yes. I am about to get my pre-surgery haircut. I honestly just woke up like this. I didn't do anything to my hair because uh, it's going to be gone soon. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, wow, this is my luck now for a little bit. It's all the hair that I left behind. So I'm touching my head. I don't know if you guys have ever had buzzed head before, but it feels so weird. This is just so different than anything I've ever experienced before. Oh my gosh! Wow! That's so That actually looks very good. That actually looks really good. Yeah. You know, it's very distinct. Wow. Wow. I'm looking over the pre-procedure care instructions that Barber Surgeon Guild gave me. Honestly, I thought I would be a lot more nervous than I am, but I'm just excited. Like, this all feels so real. It's actually happening now. Me and Chantel is gonna be shooting it. She's incredible. I think I'm in good hands. Today is a day of sweet baby Mike's surgery. I know that it'll be fine, but it's just, it's, it's bloody. So we're gonna be keeping blood sugars high. I have a sugary protein bar, that way I can, um, Replenish. Oh, I'm just talking in circles because I'm nervous. Uh, Mike, get here so we can just do this thing. Okay, here we are. Today's the day, right? Today's the day. Honestly, I'm really excited. I didn't sleep particularly well because I was too excited to sleep well. But yeah, we're here. I'm here with Dr. Rome and Rodney. We'll see how it goes. So we're gonna go over a few things. I'm just gonna grab a couple photos first, and then we'll get started. I don't start this procedure until I like the way it looks, the patient likes the way it looks, and Rodney likes the way it looks. <laughs> the more opinions, the better. You think this one should come up a little bit? Yes. Just a, little. Just a hair? Yes. Pun intended. Hair. Just a hair. <laughs> So it doesn't put you to sleep or anything, it just helps you feel a little bit relaxed for these injections, and then you'll be all numb from there. I see why it's called laughing gas. I don't know why, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> You're welcome to laugh okay. if you want. <laughs> what I love about this also is just the little show of chest hair that we're all getting. <laughs> a little, little show for the for the future boys watching. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it is such a strange sensation to have a numb. Oh yeah, you feel like you're wearing head. a helmet now, yeah, right? It yeah, it does. It feels okay. like I'm wearing a helmet. So I'm gonna go over the whole area now with a long acting medicine. Okay. That's gonna keep it numb for the rest of the day. Alright, so I'm gonna get started here. Okay. I'm gonna make the hair pores. So the direction <laughs> that I'm making yes, these so. hairs will determine the direction the hairs grow oh. with these new hair pores. And that's it. The robot's name is Chappie. That's him. Actually, I don't know how Chappie identifies. I shouldn't make assumptions. You're making Rodney laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so where do I, how do I position myself? Put your hand there. Oh! Y'all, this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I just went on a journey. I just felt like calm, peaceful, and then like, just like everything's chill, like everything's fine. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna put on now what we call the tensioner. This just holds your head still, okay? Mm -hmm. The robot's gonna look for him now. And what it's doing now is it's tagging all the hairs with little green dots, counting them, giving us a read. We'll get going. How are you feeling with these first couple? Anything painful at all? No pain. No pain, okay, no pain. good. So we're just evaluating the first few graphs now, making sure that they look great and we don't have to change any settings. These are looking really good already. Mike is getting his procedure done like right now, actually. It is crazy. <laughs> the robot is doing the work. Oh, there's Chantal, hi Chantal. Hi. I realize we beat this up close and personal. I did, but 
is here. We're not just here gawking. He told us to come and support, so we're here. We're here. <laughs> just be like, you know what, surprise <laughs> We're probably gonna head on out, but we are gonna say goodbye to Mike. Bye, Bye, Mike. Bye, Mike. Love you. Feels all right? Yeah, that's good. Perfect job, guys. Everything came out great. Here we are eating our lunches. Yes, we are. I've got my quesadilla. Mm -hmm. my, it feels a little weird to open my mouth. I think yeah. because of the numbness, it's like. <laughs> He's doing great. He's doing brilliantly. So we're gonna get the PRP now. The PRP lives right here at the bottom. This is what we inject right into the scalp. Fertilizer for the hairs. Also the growth factors will help increase growth in the other areas that are kind of experiencing thinning as well. All right, you're fertilized. Oh my gosh, what a day. How are you feeling? I feel great. Honestly, like I'm not groggy. I mean, it feels like it's been a journey. It's incredible that we were able to fit this in one day. Yeah. Most important thing you do this week is you just do not touch the new grafts. This is a pretty sweet hat, but it's just nice to wear outside. You just don't want contamination and things getting in your head. So congratulations. Thank you so much. Enjoy your new hair. Amazing. Well, it is the night after the surgery. Basically, I need to sleep at a 30 degree angle and not roll over because nothing can touch these bad boys. I sleep on my side normally, so this is gonna be kind of uncomfortable. We'll see how this goes. Well, it's the first morning after the surgery. I feel like the redness has gone down a little bit. I feel good, I feel well rested, uh, despite the fact that it was actually quite uncomfortable getting used to sleeping on my back. So the first thing I have to do now is to remove this bandage. It's okay, it's okay, it's just the body. Bodies are beautiful. I can't actually see what it looks like yet, but I'm sure it's a gross. I am about to wash my scalp for the first time since the surgery. There's a very special way that I need to do it. So 48 hours after your procedure, begin washing your scalp using the cup shampooing method daily until seven days post-op. All right, now I'm gonna let it soak in for five minutes, and then rinse it off. It is remarkable how painless this has been. I also just took a Benadryl, which has the added benefit of helping me sleep. Guess who's eating Thai food delivered? Because I don't want to go out into the world quite yet. I mean, I do, I kind of have cabin fever, but this is just so much easier. It's my first day back at the office since the surgery. I was honestly kind of self-conscious coming in here because no one's seen me with a shaved head before and like there's some gross scabbing. I'm Look vlogging. Look at that <laughs> Man, so as you can see, it's it's been it's been a lot better than I expected. People have been actually very nice about my look. Why would we be mean about your look? First That's... of all, we're gonna be even better than nice, okay? I'll see you. <laughs> we're, we're gonna be nice plus. I'm getting really tired of not being able to touch my scalp because I'm always rubbing my head. So I'm gonna use this spray and spray it around. That makes it feel a little less itchy and it just makes me feel almost as satisfied as if I were scratching it, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm really mad at myself because I was laying down on my bed talking to my mom and I was absentmindedly touching the top of my head and one graft came out. The doctor said that it is not unusual to lose a few and won't make a difference, but I'm just like, Hi, Devin's here. She's back in town. Back in town. I wasn't able to be in any of the first bits with the pre-interview or the surgery and I felt so bad but now we're here for a post-op checkup. That's check right, up. yeah, the docs are gonna check in with me. It's been a week since I had my surgery, so they're gonna let me know how I'm doing and tell me about the next steps, and uh, I wouldn't be able to do it without Devin here. Hey guys! Hey, Mike, <laughs> welcome! Thank you! You got through the week okay? Honestly, this week was fine, too, like, no pain at all. I just wanted to touch my head so badly. <laughs> well, look, now you can touch it. Can't uh, do anything wrong. Oh, yeah. that's so nice, yeah. I was, yeah, I was terrified of losing grafts. Let's see the back, actually. Yeah, let's see that. Dude. Yeah, almost you can't see a wow. thing. At this point now, regular shower, 100% back to normal. Wash it normal, you can touch it. Obviously, you know, don't go trying to pull those little hairs out, but let them fall out, you know, as they will on their own. Will I be able to tell myself when there's new growth? Like if I'm scrutinizing it in the You'll mirror? You'll be able to feel it. You'll be able to feel. see little hairs coming through. Sometimes you get what, you know, a little bit of delayed shedding, where <laughs> some of the hairs may actually grow a little bit. Oh. And then they then they'll shed later. But the tease. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> totally yeah. normal. I can't wait for the before and after. It's gonna be awesome. I'm excited. How big is the baseball bat that I'm gonna need to get to bat all the boys away? I think of this whole process as like an outward sort of like aesthetic thing. It's more of an inward mental, emotional, self-esteem, confidence. Confidence is probably gonna go through the roof, and by that alone, 
the number of people that you're going to attract. So yeah, you might have to be fighting people off with a stick. Don't go look in the mirror every single day and like, grow. That's gonna be this gradual result. I'm relieved. I was a little worried coming in today. No, it looks perfect. Okay. It looks <laughs> just how it should. You're healing really, really well. It really does make a difference and it makes us enjoy what we do. It is like a family. You're now the BSG yeah. family. Yeah. Welcome. You're our newest child. Thank you, Craig. I can resume normal activities today. I can work out tonight. I'm so excited. I can wear a regular hat again. I'm pretty happy. It seems like my normal hair that had shedded has been restored. Just a little pan up here. Uh, there's still kind of like the bald spot back here, which is not my favorite. I'm excited for when it fills in. So it's been a month and a half since the surgery. We got some growth here. This, this hair was definitely not here before. Yeah, that's there to stay. Man, I'm excited for when it is all in here and not just a little weird and patchy. It's kind of the awkward in between stage. I just had my three month follow up at Barber Surgeon Guild. Basically, they just told me not to worry because uh, at the three month stage, guys tend to get a little antsy that they're not seeing drastic amounts of progress. But at the very beginning, Dr. Rome set my expectations to be realistic. I know that there's not gonna be a ton of progress, but in another three months, I should see big changes. I'm in Honolulu right now filming Empty Suitcase with Kristen and Jen, and I'm actually starting to see some growth. See this line? It's very thin and not particularly filled in, but it's gonna be the hairline. This is the first time that I've ever been like, oh, there's, there's stuff happening. Like, this is not just a myth. It's definitely not anywhere near done yet, but it's something. It is now officially six months after my surgery. This is the longest time I've ever spent shooting a video. This was a really unique experience for me because most of the action and drama happened at the very beginning with the surgery. You wanna see what it looks like now? This is six months worth of growth, and just a reminder that it's not done yet. So once it's been a year since the surgery happened, we're gonna really see the full results. In order to document this process, I've actually been taking a selfie of my hair every single morning after I get out of the shower. I started near the beginning of the recovery period after the implanted hairs had fallen out. We see my normal hair starting to grow back. And then you see my hairline creeping slowly, slowly closer over to here. That was honestly the only way that I believed that anything was happening because I see myself every single day in the mirror, so I can't really discern any big difference from a day-to-day -day basis. I'm gonna keep taking a selfie every morning in order to track the progress of my hair over the course of a year. I'm planning to make a follow-up video in six months from now so that you can see the final results of my hair but I figured six months was enough time to show you that this does actually work. So it's easy for me to see this part of the hairline, but it's not like I can see what the top of my head looks like. So I'm gonna take a little look at that. You can still see kind of a bald spot area, but it's filled in a lot more than it used to be. As you can see, I'm wearing my hair in more of a cropped hairstyle than I was at the beginning of this video, because honestly, I tried it out and I like it. A little more of the hair that I was rocking for my birthday video, Thank you so much to Barber Surgeon Guild for giving me this incredible experience. If this is something that you're considering for yourself, hopefully this gave you a little bit of extra courage to take the plunge. Getting a robotic hair transplant. Mike tested, Mike approved.